Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. And we're so excited about what He is going to do, what He has already done in your lives. Know that you are always in our continued thoughts and prayers. Mm -hmm. No matter what platform you are tuning in to, we thank God for the many doors that he has opened up to us, the balance of life, over the past four years. So if you're tuning in from iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Reason FM Radio, Radio Online, and a whole host of others, thank you for being a part of our ministry family. On yesterday, we had our special guest, and you've heard me talk about him so many other times. It is my father, Apostle Naaman Wilson Jr. He is back with us today, and he's going to share more words of wisdom from the Word of God. So help me welcome none other than Apostle Naaman Wilson Jr. to share more words with us today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We thank you for being with us this morning again out of your busy schedule to listen to the word of the Lord. Amen. Because that's where our life lies at. As the scripture says, amen. I found your word, O oh Lord, and I ate them. Say that again. I found your word, O oh Lord, and I ate your word. Jesus said it in the sixth chapter of St. John, he that eateth his word, which is his body, and drank his blood, have eternal life. Amen. Your word, O God, saved my life. Your word, O Lord, saved my life. Amen. Amen. And we thank of the Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, for you all. Amen. Amen. We want to kind of speak on a little bit the things we spoke on yesterday, but go for even deeper if we have time. Not, I'm not going to rehearse the whole thing, but some of the scriptures. That's Colossians 1, 9 through 10, Ephesians 1, 17, 1, 17 through 18, and that's Ephesians 3, 17, 19, Colossians 2, 8 through 10. Amen. And everybody knows this scripture. Act 1 and 8. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Amen. You already have this. And let me give you one more, if you don't mind. Romans 8, 10. I'm sorry, 8, 11. For if the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your more natural earthly bodies. And let me say, all this talking about now, now, not tomorrow, not next year, not when you get to heaven, is speaking of now. Faith is now. If it's yesterday, that's history. If it's tomorrow, that's the future. Faith is always what? Now. Everything that the Father has for me and you is now. We are saved now. We are being delivered now. Every morning as the sun rises, his grace, his favor is renewed to the believers. Now, you may have some rough days, not so much rough days, but rough, uh, what we call sometimes. Amen. Whether it's raining or snowing or whatever. Some people say, well, I had a bad day. No, the day wasn't bad. It's the event of the day. <laughs> it's Amen. the activity of the day Amen. that we have problems with. Amen. Amen. So like the Father said in the beginning, all the things he made was good and very good. Mm -hmm. So there's so many gifts that we have from the Lord now. Not when we get up in age, not when we do this, not when you do that. Now, the ability, the ability to carry out the activity of God, the kingdom, the 
the activity of the king is now. Can you say that one more time? Now. 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 And one of the verses we kind of dwell on uh, quite a bit is Colossians 2, 8 through 10. It says, beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy. You know they out there. They're trying to separate you from God. They're trying to separate me and you from the Lord. They ain't so much after you per se, they after my, my faith and your faith. Again, men's and women's different voices that we hear throughout the day want to separate me and you the body of Christ from the word of God, from Jesus Christ, your faith. If they get your faith in their pocket, they're going to misuse you. Mm -hmm. They're going to misuse you because that's the system. Amen? Amen. So we have to be aware. The scripture tells us be aware of the devil's devices. Be knowledgeable other devil devices come to steal and to kill and to destroy. Somebody said, well, oh, I got saved, so how can he get to him? Jesus secured me. Yes, he did, but you got to want to be secured. You got to do the thing that help per se you stay secure. That's another word for a deliverer, I mean, for a, a salvation. Secure? Yes, you are secure. And no man, as he said, can pluck you out of his hand. And if by any means they can get you out of his hand, he said, I'll put you in my father's hand and no man could pluck you out. No demon. Amen. No demon. No prince of palaces. No dominion. We have to give up. We have, we have to come to a place, stop believing what we hear. Stop believing what we read through the scripture. I'm talking about the scripture now. Once you let those things slide, once you let those things relax, but everything the Father has for me and you is in you now. Amen. Now. It's not the, something might be a future state, but not now, not salvation, not deliverance, not prayer. You've got to constantly cast out devils. You've got to, count, you got to uh, uh, continue to stop the dominion of principalities. You have to do it. I have to do it. You got the warfare just like a soldier. You've been training, you've been training, you've been training, you've been training on a battlefield. Amen. Now, now you have to fight. You don't have to fight when you leave this earth. <laughs> your fighting is over with. Your serving is over with. But as long as you have breath in your body, saints of God, you have to go forward. Defending the faith. Amen. And it says, uh, Colossians 2, 8 through 10, be well as any man spoil you through philosophy. And that's where we at. Mm -hmm. Especially today, philosophy. Men, and I say men, I'm talking about gender. Want to separate you from the truth. God's word is true. Out of all the different books, cults, the Holy Scripture is correct. You have to have faith in the Holy Scriptures. That is the truth. Jesus said, my word is spirit. My word is life. Amen. They can't give you life. Amen. The word of God. The Holy Spirit. Philosopher. And say, in vain deceit. Vain deceit. After the tradition of man. And man's have a lot of tradition. They have their own gospel. You can have your own gospel. I can have my own gospel. Paul had his own gospel. Peter had his own gospel. You can have your own gospel. It's what you believe in. Mm -hmm. It's what you believe in put out. But I believe God's word, and I know you do too. I know you too. You too believe the word of God. That's why you're listening. Amen. It says, and ye are complete. Listen to this word. And ye are complete in him. Mm -hmm. 
just like Christ is complete in God, and God complete in Christ, and in the Holy Spirit, so we are complete in him. We have the Godhead body in us. Well, when did we get it? When you accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior? You become complete. You say, well, I did a lot of, well, maybe so. But what does the word say? See, when you throw your word in there, that's your gospel, because that's what you believe. Mm -hmm. See, I believe what the word say. The word of God say I was complete. I got complete when I accept Christ as my Lord. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what words I'm using. I was complete in him. You say, well, I know the uh, Apostle Wilson, when you were born, you made a mistake after you got become a preacher. Yes, I did. But thank be to God and his blood. When I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, I become complete in him. Everything I needed. Everything I needed. Yes, I had to keep going forward and working out my own soul salvation. Amen. I had to keep going. You cannot stand still. You have to keep going forward in the Holy Ghost. Amen. So uh, there was a time I did not know what I know now. But I learned through the word of God, the written word. Jesus Christ had finished his work of redemption. That's why he said the kingdom of God is now, is at hand. Mm -hmm. Lord, help me to understand the kingdom. Amen. Lord, help me to understand the kingdom. I'm not talking about the world kingdom. I'm not talking about the devil kingdom. Of course, any scholar would tell you the devil have a ranking soldier. Generals on down. On down, just like the regular army. And the same demon you fought yesterday, you're not fighting them today if you overcame yesterday. Amen. And you should have overcame yesterday because when you overcome a certain ranks of demons, he released, he, he released more, stronger ones. This thing is real, saints. It is real. And some people are going to find out a little too late. I don't know the person. The person said one time he, he heard a, a man preaching. He, he loved, they loved the ministry. They loved what the, the pastor of the church, the sanctuary, and say, and the pastor uh, uh, preached on a, a, a soldier that we were in the army. He said the, the person got up and told, asked the pastor, what do you mean I'm in the army? I ain't in no army. He said, if I'm in the army, I'm leaving him. Wow. My understanding that they left. Because she said she didn't want to be in the army. <laughs> you're going to be in somebody's army. Yes, you you're going to be in God's army or you're going to be in the world's army. I'm not talking about a personal military army. Mm -hmm. In other words, Satan. Satan has an army. He have demons under him, rank. Mm -hmm. From the general on down to the corporal. He, uh, uh, we have, he have demons, monkeys, ape spirits. Mm -hmm. I have seen them. Ape spirits. And some of you have had the same dreams and vision. See, the eight one time she had six breaths on her, on her chest. Six. That telling me she was age. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was old, and she had an older from way back there. Wow. I'm in a dream. Being a young minister, I didn't know what I'm looking at. But over the years. So we have those things now. We have to learn how to fight. They come to stop me and you. They come to hinder me and you. They come to separate our faith. Um, we from our faith. Our faith from us. Those demons. Amen. Amen. And, and say, and philosopher. They say, beware. Any man for you through philosophy. He, he uses the trick of the enemy. The Bible says, he was beguiled, tricked, in other words, tricked. Mm -hmm. And he's still doing the same day today, tricking men and women, tricking. Telling you, telling people, God don't mean what he say. Then he tried to show an example. Mm -hmm. 
I know so and so and so and so. They didn't live right, but they lived a long time. Maybe so. Amen. We're not doubting what you, what you spirit. We saying you could be tricked. In. You could be beguiled. Mm -hmm. Adam wasn't beguiled. He was. But we're not talking so much about that. We want to talk about what God has placed in your heart now. Now, if you got saved 20 years, 20 years ago, 50 years ago, 60 years ago, he placed it the day you got saved, the day that you and I accepted Christ as our Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. He gives us all the kingdom that he intends for us to have. There's nothing that was a period. He gives us salvation. That was a period. The Holy Ghost was not bound to the bound to earth. And since the Holy Ghost has been bound to the earth, mm -hmm. other words, in the local assemblies across America, across Europe, or any country, the Holy Spirit cannot go back. Mm -hmm. When he takes away the Holy Spirit, then all hell is going to break a loose. I think I use that word. All hell is going to break a loose. Him and the sons of God. And as we approach those days, mm -hmm. you go, you and I will see more manifestation of the kingdom power and of Satan power. Not for us to get fred and walk away and don't come back to God. For us to be aware so we know how to defeat him. He's been already defeated. But we have to do our part. Amen. For the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God, not man's kingdom. The kingdom of God is at hand now. The believer has the kingdom of God within them and around them. But we still have to fight. We do it with words. For the weapon of our warfare is not man, mm -hmm. but flesh and blood. No, no, we not. Rational against man, we rational against principalities mm -hmm. of power, spirit of wickedness. Not only in high places and low places. Mm -hmm. You can go up to the you can go to the bathroom and stomp your feet. Amen. You could be getting out of the car and get your finger slammed in the door. Or one of your children. That don't mean that you don't have the kingdom of God with you. Things happen. We live in a fallen world. Of a verse world. Amen. 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 If you're just tuning in, you're tuning in to the balance of life. And I'm here with Apostle Naaman Wilson Jr. as he is in day two of sharing words of wisdom and life through the word of God. He is really, really pouring out and giving us quite a bit. I want to go back um, from the beginning when he began to talk about uh, our day. And uh, things happen during our day, but we still have the victory. And Amen. on this morning, I was over and I wrote down two areas of scripture, and he actually has already stepped into it. I love how the Holy Spirit comes back and to confirm what he has given unto us. And I was reading Romans 8, 28. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this right here ties in with what Apostle has already been sharing it says, and we know that all things Amen. work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. So I can stand on that Amen. scripture. I confess it. I stand on it. I believe it. It is my life. I breathe it. I walk it. I meditate in it. Why? I fit the components in this scripture. It says, and we know that all things mm -hmm. work together for good to what? To them yeah. that love God. I love God. I demonstrate my love through my obedience, through my yes. faith, by accepting his son as my Lord and Savior. So guess what? This scripture, I can apply to it. I have the rights to this mm. scripture. It says to them who are the called, I am called according to what? His purpose. Mm. And so I submit myself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable which is my reasonable service unto God. Another scripture that apostle was definitely in talking about warfare. Uh, that is, we talked about it yesterday, 2 Corinthians. 
10th chapter, the mm. weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God through the pulling down of strongholds. So we are in the army because it says warfare. Mm -hmm. In warfare, that is yes. an army. Yes. We are in a spiritual army. So guess what? I'm going to take it right back to Apostle so he can share more with us. Amen. 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 Thank the Father, Holy Spirit. Yes. Even as she, a pastor was saying, the warfare, and she said, and she got started, that justified. Mm -hmm. Romans 5, being justified mm -hmm. by faith, that's Romans 5 now, we have peace. Amen. Listen to me good. Romans 5 and 1, uh -huh. being justified by faith, we have peace with God. Mm -hmm. Through who? Through Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Justified. That means that you are just before mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. That opened up. Everything that Jesus died for. Amen. Everything. When did you get justified? How, when did you get justified? Apostle Wilson, when did you get justified? Mm -hmm. When did you get justified, Apostle? I got justified when I believed in Christ. Amen. When I obeyed him. The Father said, go through Christ. St. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. Mm -hmm. I got justified. So when anything come up in my life, sickness and disease, I tell it back to God. Mm -hmm. Lord, I obeyed your word. I obeyed your word. God, the Father said, well, what did I say? You told me to go to Christ. Whosoever will, let him come. Mm -hmm. And he will know why I cast out. That, I was justified that, hey, listen, Christ died for me and you while we was yet a sinner. Some people get it all back backwards. Or they forget when they got justified. You have a right. That is your right. If you, if you, if you, right now, the next second, split second, if you were going for the world code, what would you say to the Father? Did you obey his word? Mm -hmm. Oh, God, you're going to be one of those. Lord, I didn't obey you. I didn't have time. Mm -hmm. That don't get you justified, sisters and brothers. What gets you justified when you hear God's word? Mm -hmm. And when you act on God's word, yes. with other, other way, when you believe God's word and when you act on God's word, the Bible says Abraham believed God mm -hmm. and act on what God said to him and Abraham was counted righteous. You can't, get, you can't have both of them at the same time. So anything came up in Abraham's life, and it did, but long after, he was tried. He got to a place and came still. And the word was to Abraham, Haran, move on. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. Move on. Amen. That was his father also named. Move on. So I say to the church, move on in Christ. Amen. Don't come stagnated. Move on. There's more things in God than me and you will ever see. We have to praise God continually that he let us see the depths of his heart and act on what he show us through the Holy Spirit. Amen. Roman again. Mm -hmm. Five, being justified by faith. You have a right to those scriptures. You have a right. Amen, amen. You have a right. And anything or anybody come say something different, they, that's illegal. Why God heal sick people? Because it's illegal. Why God heal people with cancer? Men defect the bodies. Sometimes men defect the souls. It's illegal. It's illegal in Christ. Therefore now, there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Listen, oh my God, my God. Oh, I feel like I want to cry. My God, my God. Why do you think that scripture is there? That stuff is illegal. You have a right to speak to it. Jesus said, speak to the mountain. The mountain, if you don't die in your heart, you have to get to speak to the mountain, it's got to be gone. Why? The, because you spoke to it. You told it to go. I give unto you power to walk upon surface and scoping. All the power. How much, how much power does Satan have? All the powers of Satan. I give authority unto you. Mm -hmm. And nothing by any means shall hurt you. 
Yes, amen, amen. So when Satan and the demons and whatever, life itself, this is out those hard things, that's, speak to it. Mm -hmm. Speak to it. You got no right here. You got no right here. Why? Because I'm justified. Mm -hmm. I'm just. God says so. God says so. Hallelujah. Glory you only God. say what God would say. You only say what God have said. Mm -hmm. He said, you my sons and my daughters. Know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is of God, which you have in you, not what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. You already have it. You're always looking in the, sometime in the present tense or mm -hmm. sometime in, a, 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 in history. Mm -hmm. It's already done, saints. More in these last days as Christ of course is coming. And, 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 and I tell you, when, you, when, he's up, when he do appear, it's going to be as if he's already there all the time. And he is. He is. He's already here. There's an event, sure, there's an event will happen. Mm -hmm. But he's already here. I'll never leave you or forsake you. So what you, I mean, well, I, I don't have no sad story. I'm rejoicing. Yeah, I don't understand sometimes things come a little tough throughout the day. I mean, it's kind of a little rough to, to rejoice, but we got to make that thing happen. Mm -hmm. It ain't going to just happen if we don't open our mouth. Amen. You have the power, you have the authority to make it happen. You keep saying, I'm going to rejoice, I'm going to rejoice, I'm going to rejoice. You may, you may have a pain, have a pain, have a pain. Mm -hmm. More you have a pain, more you rejoice. And pretty soon one's going to stop. Amen. You either going to stop talking or the pain going to take credit of it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> that's the way it works. I'm sorry. That's the way it works. So we have a great day. Rejoice. I say again, rejoice. Mm -hmm. That's what he's telling us, the believers. Keep on rejoicing. He didn't say it's going to be easy. I know the way that you will take when you are tried, mm -hmm. says the Lord. I Amen. know you. I've been, you've been predestined. So I know the way you would take when you be tried. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to say what the Father says. Amen. I'm going to say what Jesus says. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> listen, Apostle is, listen, he, he's preaching. He's <laughs> preaching. Praise the Lord. And and just to just to see him, it, uh, if you are one and, and you are a minister, uh, you do the same with one or a thousand. Mm -hmm. And so the word is carried. The word is being carried through uh, the platform that God has given us. And uh, no matter what area you're in, states, countries, regions, the mm -hmm. word is going forth. Yeah, and I Lord. pray that you are taking this word and you are applying it to your life. That uh, as a believer, you have a right to the scriptures. And even, let me tell you something, Apostle is all up in what I was praying about and reading about on this morning, another area of scripture about the power that worketh in us. I was over in Ephesians mm -hmm. 3 and 20. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. So let me read that for you right quick, because we need this in this hour, in this day. If we're going to survive spiritually, we must rely totally on the word of God. And through prayer, it's going to take knowing the word of God for you to stand in this hour. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 3 and 20 says, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think. Listen to this. According to the power that worketh yes. in us. So what is in you? You have already been given the authority and power by Amen. Christ Jesus so, as Apostle said, you have to say that word out of your mouth every yes. single day. Yes. Listen, sometimes, a couple of times throughout the day, when you wake up, when you go to the restroom, yes. when you eat, when you mm -hmm. listen, when you walk through the hallway, when you're driving in your car, say that word, meditate on that word. It is what is going to get mm -hmm. us through in this next season. We, some of you are already in a new season. And as Apostle said, what sustained you last season, yesterday, what you conquered yesterday, you need more for today. Amen. Amen. And so say that word with power. Don't say it whimpering. Don't say it <laughs> sorrowfully. Say that word with the joy Lord. of the Lord mm -hmm. is your Lord. strength. 
You have all of the power and the authority through Christ Jesus in you. And listen, I am a few seconds away from closing out today, but no, we'll be back tomorrow. Have a blessed day, everyone.